18-year-old Barbara Orishaba was born with a heart problem, which her parents, unfortunately, did not know about until she was eight. They put me in the X-ray and they had to say, your, your heart is enlarging, it is very big and it's having a hole inside. She says she got frequent attacks and would be rushed to the hospital near their home in Kanungu district in western Uganda. But she only got worse until this April when doctors referred her to Mulago Hospital. She was put on medication, but doctors told her she would need an open heart surgery because the hole in her heart was too big. Her parents could not afford this. Lady Luck has however dawned on Barbara. She is now one of the 23 patients awaiting surgery and catheterization. The cost has been covered by the government. According to Dr. Sulaiman Lubega of the Heart Institute, Mulago receives about 600 heart patients annually. Majority of them are children who were born with heart defects. All of them will be referred here and some of them cannot actually come because they don't have the money. A few years ago, the Uganda Heart Institute started carrying out open heart surgeries mostly on children. A child needs between 6 and 10 million to be operated upon and most of them cannot afford it. This equipment was brought into Malago last year to handle patients with minor heart defects. The majority of them will be having holes either in the heart or in the vessels outside the heart. So those holes can be closed comfortably now in this laboratory without taking them for operation. Dr. Lubega, however, says majority of the patients report for treatment after their condition worsens. Now there is a group of experts in the country from USA's Relay Children's Hospital, training doctors here, doing surgeries, and also treating minor defects, especially for the most adversely affected children. This was the first time in Uganda to treat such holes uh, with a device. 23 children are beneficiaries of this initiative that's being funded by the government, Rotary Club and Gift of Life, an organization that has brought in the volunteer team of doctors from Relay Children's Hospital. Now the country has developed capacity with the support of our friends from Gift of Life and the Rotary International of being able to cut out operations. The device we used uh, this time to close the ducts uh, that device called a duct occluder was costing a set was costing uh, two thousand five hundred dollars, and that is one device. That device, once we put it in place, we leave it in the patient. The organizers of this camp are optimistic that by two thousand fourteen, they would have built capacity for the Uganda Heart Institute to avail these services to the patients at an affordable rate or even freely. Gertrude Tumusime with Kwade, NTV.